in this tutorial I will show you how to install IntelliJ 2021.2.1 20, for Java FX 17 with the JDK 17 and SimBuilder 16. Let's download um, IntelliJ for Windows 64 bits. Okay, it will take about four minutes. Okay, it's done. Double click. Run it. Next. Okay, this is uh, where we can install IntelliJ. Next. I prefer to have um, desktop shortcuts. Others, I will just leave it. Next. Install. Okay, run IntelliJ. Okay, this is uh, version 2021.2.2. Let's create a new project. Let me select JavaFX. The menu is slightly changed, so name of project, JavaFX Hello World. Okay, uh, project SDK, I'm going to use uh, JDK 17. Now default build is uh, Maven. Okay, no dependencies. Finish. So here is the uh, JavaFX Hello World project. It takes a bit of time at the beginning. Okay, now index in JDK 17. When you learn second project, it might be slightly better than uh, first one. Okay, let's go to, um, let me close it. Let's go to source, Java. Model in for Java. Okay, Java application controller. Then uh, we have uh, FXML. So let's build. This time we are going to build uh, with uh, Maven. That's the default uh, builder. Since IntelliJ 2021.2. So let's learn Hello World application. So when you click, welcome to JavaFX application. That's it. So modular programming with uh, Maven is straightforward. So let's say um, what if we don't want to do modular programming? You can delete. OK. Now you have to manually add a JavaFX library. So I will show you. OK. 
So you can build same idea. Uh, this time I'm going to build rebuild project. Let's try to run it. Okay. So JavaFX runtime components are missing. Let's go to project structure. Okay, libraries. We are not using Maven this time. Okay, delete it all. Java. We are going to uh, add JavaFX SDK library manually. Java. In my case, JavaFX SDK 17 library. Okay, all JavaFX libraries appear. Okay. Okay. This is the where I have uh, JavaFX SDK library. Apply. Okay. Let's rebuild project. And then run it. Okay, now still complaining. Um, required to run this application. So when you actually run it, you need to add um, VM options. So make sure when you do this, um, we are learning Java applications. Let's modify options. Add VM options. Extend it. We can type model pass, then point to your Java FX SDK library, which is going to be uh, this pass. Paste it. Then add modules. Uh, for this example, we can have only two Java FX controls and then uh, JavaFX FXML. Apply. Okay. Let's try to run it again. Okay, seems like working this time. So this is how you can run your JavaFX application without modular. Let me add a message. Okay, hello, hello, JavaFX 17. Let me add a new class called app so that we can uh, create a loadable jar file. So here, public static void main. We're going to learn our main application. Here we call it as a hello application and main. The ARGS arguments. Just sending our one parameter, that's all. Okay. So let's go to um, project structure. Artifacts. So, uh, model with uh, dependencies. Main class, make sure you select app, okay? Not hello world, uh, not hello world application, app. That's the class I just created, okay? Okay. So we have all this uh, chart file. Related to JavaFX file, we can add uh, uh, binary files, which is a Windows um, dynamic library. You can select all, you can use the split key, all of them, okay. Apply, okay.
So Windows DLL files I added to a project. So build artifacts. Build. So you will add to a uh, out directory under your project. Wait for a while. Okay, here is the one. Okay, on the art, artifacts project name, okay, we can open with uh, Windows Explorer. Inside that directory, you can see Java FX Hello World Java. You can simply double click. It's going to launch Java FX application. Click. That's all. Well. Now you can distribute. Okay, this is how you can make a deployable uh, JavaFX Java file. So I just explain about deployment of uh, Java JavaFX application. Maybe I should explain to you how to use JavaFX in Builder which I already um, installed. So make sure you are using latest version, okay, 2021.2.2. 20, okay, here are program files. Java, I do have uh, Java FX DK 17.0.0.1. These are libraries I'm using it at this point, and then JDK 17. Then of course I have a uh, SimBuilder install, uh, SimBuilder version 16. So go to File, Settings, Languages and Frameworks, Java FX. You can uh, point to uh, SimBuilder. EXE. It should be user and then your username and then app data. It usually is hidden, local, same builder, and then point to same builder e dot EXE. Okay, it should be under username, your username. And now we can open in same builder. Sometimes it takes a uh, um, few seconds, so you can try again. The next time it will be quicker. Okay, let me just select the button. And we have one label on the V box. Straightforward, simple application. But let me just show you how to use a sim builder. This is a sim builder version 16.0.0 okay this is the latest version and if you're using 16 um, your source code will be um, set up as a java fx 16 not 17 okay let me change the text and then uh, action that's okay let me name this button what we call it as fx id ETN hello. Maybe I'll just say hello world. Okay. So we can save. Return to IntelliJ. So if you look at FXML, let me move. Because you are using SimBuilder 16, it will appear as a 16. Okay. Uh, name space you can change to 17 that is also available Just saying that uh, you are using version 17 okay you don't have to change anything else let's rebuild project okay now let's run it hello, hello application so click Okay, now you have a Java FX 17, everything is done. That's all, thank you.